Hey, what's up, Sagittarius? Welcome to the channel. It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. What's going on? So guys, I'm just getting ready here to do your July 2020 monthly read. And I'm using my new deck here, the Deviant Moon Tarot. Tario, Tario, and it's pretty phenom. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And here's the box that it came in. And you can see that the artwork is a little bit out there, but so am I. So I think it's a pretty good pairing and I hope you enjoy. Um, <clears throat> so most of all, I mean, that's the gain, the gain from the reading, right? Is that you enjoy it and that you um, resonate with at least part of it. And if you resonate with all of it, that's amazing. So anyway, guys, I like to jump right in. And as my sister fire sign, I'm sure that you understand that I, I just have no time for, um, anything else but getting right to the point so let's get you going here Sagittarius anyway we'll do one more shuffle and then we'll start pulling cards so I'm doing an intuitive read so I'm just going to call out the cards here and then build your story from them see what spirit has to say for July 2024 Sagittarius let's get it cracking oh so weird so we have the two of wands here guys so check out the artwork really super bizarro um, two of Wands, somewhere to go, but something to be picked up also from the look of this super weird. <clears throat> Seven of Cups here. Very, very, very interesting. Check this out. So Seven of Cups, lots of opportunity for you guys, but you have to be careful how you pick them. Otherwise, you're going to end up knocking things over. I think I need just a quick sip of tea here, guys, so bear with me. <laughs> Okie dokie. So check out this Seven of Cups. Like things are knocked over, spilled over. And there's a creative process in the works here. So I'm just getting the feeling that, okay, so you've got some place to go. You've got some sort of initiative going on here. Two of Wands is like, yeah. I'm on my way here right now. But then you have this really inept, like, claw pickup tool here. So it's like your manifestation process needs to be fine-tuned a little bit because you could be knocking things over instead of picking them up the way that you need to in order to bring them into your um, reality. Have you guys ever played that claw game? You know, you put in whatever amount of change in Canada, it's a loony, so, um, which is a dollar. You put it in and then the claw comes down and then you have to go pick up the stuffed animal or whatever's in there. And most of when any time I do it, it kind of like falls over to the side and I get nothing. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to keep shuffling. So my son, every time he plays that game, um, he gets a stuffed animal every time. So it's just in the way that you're holding the joystick, in the way that you're holding the claw there's some sort of refinement that needs to be happening here because seven of cups talks about everything that's available to you all of your options everything that is sitting in your source um <clears throat> sorry um oh there we go and uh yeah you could be knocking things over instead of picking them up and this is not the desired result of manifesting so let's keep on going here Got the world card. So you guys are almost at the end of a cycle. You know, the world card is finishing up some sort of... I'm getting words like ineptitude, bumbling, you know, and don't take that as an insult, you guys, because there could have been something that you really just floundered through. It's like, oh boy, wow, you know, well, that sucked or, you know, just lived in some crappy location or you had a relationship that was really horrible or, you know, not the best job or whatever. Something was like, whoosh, <clears throat> I don't know who dreamed this up for me. So it's almost at an end here with the world card. So you just have to keep on going. And this sort of like bobbling the ball is happening as a result of this cycle that you're in. That you're not really having such a great time at but you know the good news is the silver lining is it's almost over so with that ending you should be able to get yourself a new new tool to pick something up with because this is a little bit let's say archaic and i just had a card go flying out of the deck so excuse me oh god 
Anyway, so here we've got the King of Cups. So King of Cups is talking about like be creative, you know, think of different ways of doing things and use your emotions as a guiding light on how to get things. And this is the, the probably maybe could be the missing element for you guys in your manifestation process. Like, how do you feel about things? Do you feel like you're 100% able to do something? Do you deserve something? Um, you know, let's put him down. And I'm going to clarify it claire for a card oh this is really interesting here so you guys are just a little bit tired you know nine of wands is like you guys have been on a a slog out of a journey right it's like oh man and like everything it feels like everything's going wrong it's like i just cannot make this stick you know every time i reach for something it's like ugh. you know it could just feel like you're having one of those and I'm getting the words here, decades, you know? So that's a long time for things to be going wrong for you. But good news is it's almost at an end with the world card and you're going to go. Whew. So nine of wands is definitely saying you need a break, you know, give yourself a break. Don't be too hard on yourself. These seasons happen for a reason and they tend to happen in cycles so something is going to come in and break that for you. I'm just getting a really strong impression here that the King of Cups is going to enter your life somehow and just make you feel a whole lot better about everything. Because right now, there's, there's sort of an underlying tone that, Sag, you could feel like you're not worthy of something or you feel a little bit inept or incapable. So I'm glad to see that coming to an end with the World card. Let's pull one more out here for you. Knight of Swords. Okay, this is pretty cool, but creepy. So this just really talks about the pregnant pause, like the bubble bursting right? and being able to move forward. So um, it's kind of like you guys have been in the starter blocks and then like getting all these false starts and you're like, oh, enough. Like, let me run the race, right? I need to be able to run this race. I'm not where I'm at right now. I'm feeling a little bit um, less than. Which, you know, Sagittarius should never feel that because as a fire sign, like, hello, you know, you should be on top of the world instead of just crawling across the finish line, collapsing, like, oof, you know, somebody get me a beverage, LOL. So I'll pull one more card here, Sag. So, yes, fantastic. King of Pentacles here. This energy is going to come out for you in July. You know, you can kiss this, this sort of like fun house. I just wanted to say BS, but I can't say stuff like that because YouTube. Anyway, so guys, yeah, definitely um, the fun house era is about to come to a close and enter the majesty. You know, everything, I put all the negative stuff to the side here. You know, nine of wands. All right. Sulky, you know. Seven of Wands, oops a daisy, everything's sort of bumbling and fumbling away. It's like when you're watching a sports game and you're kind of waiting for the receiver to catch the ball. I think football because my son played football. You know, and they're running and running and then they just, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, and this is kind of what I feel like the past little while has been like for you guys. And it, it could be like, like I said before, it could be like a decade, decade long, but it's coming to an end. And then well, I've got all everything over here. Yeah, it's coming to an end, a sense of accomplishment. You're going to know when the sun comes out from behind the clouds, it's going to feel completely different with the King of Cups. The energy is going to change for you. The bubble will burst and you're going to be able to you know, you feel a palpable change in the energy around you. And then the King of Pentacles comes in and the King of Pentacles is like, okay, you know, that's enough of what was going on over here. I would like to have a little bit more money, please. I have a castle to furnish. I have all these dependents with the Pentacles here. Have you seen these guys eat? You know, so you're really going to be able to come into this new age of having the abundance that you deserve. And that's the key thing, you know, you deserve it no matter what happened in the past. 
it's available to you. Like everything is here for you. It's written already for you, Sagittarius. And maybe you had to go through this really embarrassing growing phase until however, however many years of age you are right now in your life. But honestly, it's all coming in. You should really feel that change in your heart and everything about you coming into July. Really strong age of abundance for you, Sagittarius, on all fronts. You know, King of Pentacles energy is going to rock out this, this world for you. This world is going to end. Brand new age coming in for you, Sag. I love this reading for you, and I hope you did too. <laughs> Thanks. Take care. Bye.